Indonesia has been greatly affected by the pandemic, but the country has also deployed measures to get the pandemic under control and to roll out a stimulus package to help the economy recover. So over the course of two days, we hope to look down the road and discuss how the archipelago nation can balance a push for economic recovery with long-term environmental commitments. This is the time for us to reform a lot of things in this country. We are doing digitalize. We make it simple, like omnibus law. A lot of things within that to help our small and medium enterprises. If you are successful to move this gradually, I think it could trigger our economic growth like maybe 5% or so. So we are very confident on that. Because Indonesia is a consumption-based economy, Indonesia middle-class drinking income throughout the, the pandemic make domestic market even more reluctant to spend. This really signify the income construction of Indonesia middle class. So of course it impacts to business because the demand is not there. So I think this all uh, needs to be addressed uh, while we are looking into the recovery program. When you are talking about SMEs in Indonesia, we are thinking about two types of technology. First, of course, the digitalization. The government has the program that's trying to provide the digital connection to around 20% of the SMEs. We also help them with the production technology. So they can at least produce something consistently with the quality that fulfills the standard. In order for Indonesia to become a higher income country, avoiding middle income trap, you definitely need to invest in three areas which is very critical. Human capital, infrastructure, and bureaucracy or regulatory reform. The Sovereign Wealth Fund is going to allow us to invite private sector to work with us now as a partner. So I think with all this reform in place, actually we are now providing more room and option for the private sector to come to Indonesia. I believe that now also is really the time to have the interactions with the government and give the input from the different perspectives to make sure that this is not only supporting economic growth, but really doing that in a sustainable way. So if that energy can now be turned into a conducive conversation with the different stakeholders, I am optimistic and positive that this will lead to a more sustainable and also profitable economical recovery for, for Indonesia.